Welcome back to another weekly craft video. My name is Tori. I'm the Makerspace Librarian at the Urban L. Young Memorial Library in Whitewater, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make these um, different types of friendship bracelets. I have four styles of bracelet that I'm going to show you how to make today. And in your weekly craft kit, you're gonna get enough string to make four bracelets. So you'll get to um, make your different color combinations and um, you can try out all four of these patterns if you would like to. I'm including plenty of string for even anklets in these, um, in these craft kits. So you might find the strings are really long um, it just really depends on the kind of bracelet that you're making. If you're making one of these, it really doesn't require very much string. It's skinny and it's just a simple braid. This one, however, requires a lot more string, especially if you're making it for somebody's ankle. You're going to need to use up maybe all the string um, in the strands that I've cut. So it just depends on which one you're making. It's better to play it safe than sorry and have strings that are too long and have the and then trim the string at the end when you're done than to trim them in the beginning and then they and then your bracelet winds up being too short. As always, if you complete this activity, please share your um, photos with us. We love to see your finished products. In your craft kit, you're going to receive um, several different pieces of string. Um, they're not all exactly the same size, so um, once you get them and you decide which colors you want to use to make which bracelet, you can match them up and trim them so that they're the same length. So I lined those up on that end, and I'm just going to make them all the same length. So the first bracelet we're going to make is just this this simple three strand braid. Um, these designs are all really customizable. Um, if you wanted to make it really really skinny and only use three strings you could do that. This bracelet that I'm going to show you has um, six strings and you could even multiply it up to nine strings you know even more than that. It just um, depends on how thick you want your bracelet to be. So the one we're going to make today is just going to have six strings. So we're starting off with these three strings and we're going to double them over so that we have six total, just like that. So I'm just um, lining these up, folding it in half and lining up the ends. And I'm just going to tie a simple loop at the top and that's going to be the beginning of my bracelet. I'm just going to tie a loop just like that. And there we are. So there's different ways that you can mount your bracelet um, to hold it still while you're working on it. My favorite way is using a clipboard to hold it in place and keep it still while I work. Um, you can also use a piece of tape and tape it to the table. Another way that I like is to get a safety pin and pin it to my jeans or a pillow um, to hold it in place and that works well too while you work. But I'm going to be using this clipboard today. So for the three stranded braid, I'm going to split up my colors and match the colors with one another. All right, so now I have two yellow, two orange, and two red. So now all I'm gonna do is a simple braid. Take that one into the middle, take that one into the middle, and just keep going like that, alternating, pulling the outside strand in towards the center. So 
So I just continued braiding until I got it the length that I wanted it. Um, I made this one kind of long because I want it to be an anklet rather than a bracelet. I still have a lot of extra string left. That's okay. Um, some like this bracelet takes up very little string because it's thin and it doesn't require as many knots. A bracelet like this is going to take up a lot more string. So it's better to have too much string than not enough. So um, you might end up with a lot of string at the end, but that's okay. Um, so if you can see with this one, at the, I had to end it in a certain way. I did the, the pattern to a certain point and then I ended it with this little braided tail. This one already is just a braid, so I don't have to end it in any particular way. I just tie a knot at the end. just like that and then I trim off the extra string and then all I do to secure it is just um, put it around my ankle and tie it put it through the loop and tie it back on itself like that and there it is Next, I'm going to show you how to make this French twist um, bracelet. This one's really easy. Um, so I've selected four different colors, four strings, and um, I'm going to do the same thing as last time. Line them all up and fold it in half, just like the last one. Line these up and tie a loop at the top. So now I have two strings of each color. I'm going to separate them out and match them up and I'm going to treat the, the strings of the same color as one string. So for the French twist, you can decide how many knots you want to make um, with each color. That's going to determine how, how long these little strips are. So for this one, I was doing five, five knots, and that made um, this little strip of color a certain length, but you can do more. You can do ten. Um, you can only do like two or three if you want. It just depends on how often you want your colors to alternate. So with this one, let me just do, um, let me try three. So we're gonna be making a, a knot for this bracelet that we're gonna use in a lot of our other bracelets. It's called a forward knot. So I'm gonna start with my white strings. I'm gonna take it and make like a four, a four shape over these other strings, pull it through like that, and pull it up and pull it tight. I'm gonna do that three times, so that was one. Make my four, pull it through, two. Make my four, reach under here and pull it through, three. So that's three. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my next color. So let's say I'll do this like periwinkle kind of color. So I've moved on to my next color here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna do three forward knots. One, two, three, forward knots. Now move on to the next color, this purple color. One, two, three. And the last color. One, two, 
three. And now I'm back to white again. So I'll just do one strip of white. One, two, three. Oops. All right. So in this bracelet, I only did three knots per color. So um, the strips of color are a little bit shorter than this one, which I did five. So it's totally up to you. It just depends on how you want your bracelet to look. Once your bracelet is the length that you want, you're gonna finish it off with a braid. Now I have four different colors here. So I'm going to combine these two and treat them as one and just do a simple three strand braid the rest of the way down. And when it's long enough, just tie a knot. And then to tie it, you just put the, the braided part through the loop and tie it around the wrist or the ankle. For the candy stripe bracelet or the stripe bracelet, I'm gonna show you a different way to start your bracelet. Um, instead of having the loop that you put the braid through, you can have a braid on each end and tie those two braids together to secure it around your wrist or your ankle. Um, so this is just a different way to start your bracelet, um, but you can make the candy stripe bracelet with a loop at the top, um, just the same as the other ones, it's just a different way. So what's different about starting your bracelet this way is that you're only gonna have one strand of each color and if you choose to do this one with the loop, you just um, treat the, the two strands of each color as the same um, piece of string and you use them together like we did in this bracelet. So in this bracelet, I am using six colors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six colors. Um, I'm gonna make one, this one with only five colors. Um, you can make it with however many colors you want. If you add more colors, the bracelet's going to be thicker. If you add fewer colors, it's going to be skinnier. All right, so since we're starting this bracelet off differently and we're not folding it in half, these strings are probably going to be super, super long. Um, you can trim them up a little bit, but just be careful not to trim too much. So to make a bracelet that has two braided ends, all I'm going to do is take my strings, tie them in a knot, just like that, secure it, and I'm just going to start braiding. I'm just going to split these strings up into three separate pieces, three sections, and I'm just going to braid a little while. All right, so once I like the length of my braid there, I'm just gonna put the strings um, in the order that I want the stripes to go. All right, so when you start it off this way, this is the trickiest part right here, is getting your rows going um, without kind of messing up your braid that you have right here. So I'm just going to very carefully begin making my stripes. Now we're working from left to right with this bracelet. So this string is going to tie onto this string, then this string, then this string, then, oops, then this one. So we're just bringing this string across all the other strings and it's going to form a stripe. So we're just tying the first string across all the other ones, then the next one across all the other ones, then the next one across all the other ones, just like that. 
So this is my first string. We're going to be using only a forward knot for this um, bracelet. So you're just making the same knot over and over and over again. It's very easy. So the forward knot, we've already done it before. You kind of make a four shape over one of the strings and you'd go ahead and pull it through and pull up to tighten it. Now I don't want to pull too hard because it's going to go up into my braid. So I just kind of bring it to where the braid ends. And I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to be making two forward knots on every string. Now this purple one becomes my end one and I move this one onto the next color here. So I'm gonna do one forward knot, pull it up, two forward knots, pull it up. All right, awesome, now it's moved to this side. Now we're onto the pink string. We do one forward knot, up, one forward knot, all the way up, just like that. Now it's come onto this side. It looks a little messy right now, but it will start to take shape after the first row or so. And now I'm onto my last string over here. Oops. One forward knot, pull up. One forward knot, pull up. So that was my first row. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit here. It doesn't look perfect yet, but it, it is going to sort itself out. This is the hardest part right here. It's just getting that first row going. All right, so now we're on to the next row. We're gonna be working with the purple string this time. I'm gonna take the purple string, make a four, and pull my string through and pull up and pull tight. Do it one more time, make a four, pull up and pull tight. Now it moves over to the right one. And you gotta pay attention and make sure that your strings stay in order so they stay in the right order. One, two. I like to keep a safety pin on hand because if I make a mistake and say I tied it around the wrong string and it wasn't in the right order, I use this to go back and pick out the knot that I just made so I can correct my mistake. So one of these is handy to have on hand. Handy to have on hand, haha. <laughs> okay, so now I just continue doing it over each string. One two and one two now my purple string is the farthest one on the right so we take the string on the left and start moving it across now you can see the stripes starting to form So you just continue to work your stripes all the way down your bracelet until it's long enough and then once you get to the end when you think it's long enough for whoever you're making it for, you just section off the strings into three pieces or three separate, um, three separate strands like that and then you just braid to the end and tie a knot and then you can tie your two braids together to make your bracelet. The last pattern that I'm gonna show you is this chevron pattern. This bracelet, um, it's best to start it with a loop like that because you are going to need one string of the same color on one side and one string of the, the same color on the other side so you can bring them in towards the center. So this is how we're going to set up our bracelet. We are not using um, the same colors as one 
strand as we have in the past. We are using them all as separate strands because how we're going to work it is we're going to work the outside strings in towards the middle. If you can see like this, we're working outside strings toward the center, outside string toward the center, and that's how you get this little V shape here. So this bracelet, you really do want to start off with the, the loop beginning because you need two strings of the same color. And when you double over the loop, that's what you get. So for this bracelet, we're going to use two different kind of knots. We're going to be using the forward knot that we have been using for our other bracelets, but we're also going to be using a backward knot, which I'll show you in just a second. So first I'm going to work this outer string in towards the center using a forward knot. And I'm going to do a double forward knot, which means I'm going to do it two times. So one, two. This string moves in towards the right. One, two. This string moves in towards the right. One, two. Now it's in the center. And I, now I want to bring this one into the center as well. So what I'm going to do is a backward knot, which is literally a backward forward, <laughs> a backward forward knot. So, move that like that. Okay. So in a forward knot, I would take it like this and make a four. But I'm just going to do the opposite. I'm going to make a backward four, just like that. So I have one backward four, one, do it one more time, just like that, a backward four, oh, I can't really see it, let me move it in a little bit closer, just another backward four over this string, two, one, two, and now it brings um, this blue one closer to the center. So we're going to do the same thing on this string. One, two, oops. Sorry, I keep hitting the tripod. Two, that brings it in towards the center more. Last string. One, two. All right. Now we have our blue strings in the center and we wanna join these two together. And how I like to do that is I like to take the one on the left, so this one, I like to take that one and I wanna make a forward knot over the right one, so I make one forward knot, okay, and then I take the one on the left and do a backward knot, just like that, okay, and so now these two are in the center and we have one V, Let's see if we can zoom in on the V a little bit, we have one little V started there, so now we're we're, these are now we're going to move on to our next row these two and we're going to bring the pink strings across and into the center so I'm going to show it one more time double forward knot one two one two One, two. Now I have my pink string in the center. Do the same thing over here. Backward knot. Backward. Let's see if I can bring it over a little bit. So backward knot, backward. Backward. 
cord. One, two, one, two. All right, now we have our two pink strings in the center. So I'm gonna do a forward knot with one and a backward knot with the other one to join these strings in the center. So I'm gonna take the one on the left, do a forward knot, pull up. I'm gonna take this one, do a backward knot, and pull up. There you go. Sorry, I keep bumping into the tripod. It's um, My setup here is a little awkward, but that's okay. And there we have the beginning of our chevron bracelet. And you just continue along bringing the outside strings towards the center until your bracelet's long enough. Once you get to the end, separate the strands into three different strands and braid down and tie a knot. Then that's what goes through your loop and makes your bracelet.